Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focus Neurology. Today we are going to talk about a very very important clinical point. The differentiation between the Parkinson's tremor and essential tremor. Both look similar. So how are we going to proceed to differentiate the Parkinson's tremor from the essential tremor? So if we follow methodically, go step by step, we can differentiate between the Parkinson's tremor and the essential tremor. The Parkinson's tremor, the tremor, the characteristics of tremor, the frequency. Parkinson's tremor, the frequency is very low. It's a pathological tremor. The frequency is very low. Whereas in essential tremor, the frequency is very high. And second, the Parkinson's tremor, the amplitude is high. It's a high amplitude. So Parkinson's tremor is a high amplitude and a low frequency tremor. Whereas in essential tremor, the amplitude is low. So essential tremor, the frequency is high and the amplitude is low. When is it most prominent? The Parkinson's tremor is most prominent at rest. So any person who is having resting tremor, especially a pill rolling movement, the movement which, which occurs across the thumbs is highly suggestive and diagnostic of Parkinson's tremor. So Parkinson's tremor is most prominent at rest. So any tremor which is prominent at rest, the resting tremor is highly suggestive of Parkinson's tremor. Whereas the essential tremor is most prominent in outstretched postures. In the outstretched postures, the essential tremor is most prominent in sustained outstretched posture. Movement. As I said, the Parkinson's tremor is most prominent at rest. So any slight movement also will dampen the, the tremor. So any movement, that, any movement will dampen the tremor. Whereas here, the essential tremor will worsen with a precise action. When it is trying to do a precise action, the essential tremor worsens. So the tremor is most prominent at rest. The Parkinson's tremor is most prominent at rest and any movement dampens the tremor. The essential tremor is most prominent in, in the outstretched sustained posture and then it worsens with attempt at a precise action. Parkinson's tremor and Parkinson's disease is unilateral to begin with. It begins on one side and then as the disease progresses, it becomes bilateral. So it begins unilaterally. It begins on one side and therefore Parkinson's tremor is asymmetric, is seen only on one side, especially the initial stages of Parkinson's. So Parkinson's tremor is asymmetric, whereas an essential tremor is symmetric. So these are the important five characteristics of tremor. So Parkinson's tremor is a low frequency, high amplitude, most prominent at rest, dampens it, the tremor dampens with movement and it is asymmetric. The other features are that in Parkinson's tremor, there may be head and there, there will not be head and voice tremor. Whereas in essential tremor, there will be voice tremor, there will be head tremor, nodding also. Whereas the jaw and lip tremor is most prominent in Parkinson's disease and it is absent in essential tremor. Very surprising point is that alcohol has got no effect on Parkinson's disease but alcohol dampens the tremor of essential tremor. The essential tremor comes down. In fact, alcohol can be used as a diagnostic test and of course, by taking alcohol, the essential tremor comes down. But that doesn't mean we advise taking alcohol for essential tremor. So alcohol, intake of alcohol will bring down the tremor. So it can be used as a diagnosis. Likewise, beta blockers also bring down the essential tremor. Alcohol and beta blockers have got no effect on Parkinson's disease and the Parkinson's tremor. And, and of course, 
Parkinson's disease is because of lack of dopamine and hence when we give dopaminergic drugs the Parkinson's disease improves and anticholinergic drugs especially will improve the Parkinson's tremor whereas they have no effect on essential tremor. So essential tremor and Parkinson's tremor may appear symmetrical but if we go methodically step by step we can definitely make out whether it's a Parkinson's disease and Parkinson tremor or essential tremor. I hope you have enjoyed listening to my lecture. If you have any suggestions or comments kindly post on to my YouTube channel but please like and subscribe my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my every page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.